What up YouTube, it is your boy All About The Sneakers back with another unboxing and review video for you guys. Now today, as you can tell from the thumbnail as well as the title of the video, that is correct guys, we are unboxing the Air Jordan 7 Citrus. Now this is a classic sneaker guys, not an OG, but rather a classic. As the Air Jordan 7 did release originally in 1992, this sneaker did not drop back then when the OGs released, so it's not an OG colorway. However, this did release in 2006 originally, and now it is back retro. So for a lot of people, this is a classic. Some people may even look at it as an OG, but unfortunately it's technically not an OG. As far as me, back in 2006, I was no longer really picking up Air Jordans like I was back in my high school years, but those were the good old days of picking up shoes, but life happened, kids happened, and hey, 2006, I was not copying J's like I am now, or just a slew of sneakers in general. So unfortunately, I missed out on the original pair of the Air Jordan 7 Citrus, but we have them here today in hand. Finally able to grab a pair, thankful to the re-release, as this sneaker does commemorate and celebrate the heritage of the Air Jordan 7 30th anniversary, as this year is the year of the seven, guys. So hey, if you're sleeping on seven, I recommend you not if you are a true sneakerhead, at least if you're an OG sneakerhead. When I say OG, I mean back when the sneaker era first took off, back in the late 70s, mid 80s is really when it started booming. So if you're of that era, hey, support, 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 because I know you know. But the new generation nowadays doesn't tend to really play into the Air Jordan 7. Really a lot of GR Air Jordans and a lot of the silhouettes are downplayed, especially lately since post-pandemic. Money is just not circulating in the economy like it once was during the pandemic. There was a lot of handouts and the economy appeared to be booming at the time, but unfortunately that's not the case right now. We are starting to see a lot of sneakers sit, particularly Air Jordans, which is unusual to the sneaker community for the past couple years at least. But prior to that, sneakers sat quite a bit to the point where a lot of them actually went on sale and it appears that we're getting back to those times slowly but sure. Now this sneaker did release yesterday. I'm just now getting a video up, so hey, bear with me guys. But it did release on sneakers app as well as all of the other authorized retailers on their websites and in stores and the sneakers did sit on a few websites for the most part it seemed like they sold out quicker on the websites than they did on sneakers app. i have a theory behind why and that theory is on some of the sneaker sites you can use the different pay and for type of payment methods which you can't do on sneakers so for people who probably did want to make some payments on these and not pay them flat out they headed over to those sites first i can almost guarantee that's why they sold out first on Kibbit as well as JD Sports Finish Line and also Foot Locker and Champs. So Nike, hey, if you're paying attention to this, you may want to get those paying for payments. And you know what I'm talking about. Klarna, Afterpay, PayPal, paying for, Affirm, all of those different payment methods. Sneakers, hey, if you can get that on there. Now you can use that on Nike. A lot of people don't know that, but you can't use it on sneakers. So I believe that may be the reason why or maybe Nike is just holding a lot more stock than what they dish out to the retailers and it's showing. As you can see right here, guys, on the sneakers app it is still available $200 right there click on it and there are sizes available now yesterday on release day all sizes were available all throughout the day all throughout the night and now sizes are starting to sell out in the bigger sizes but in the smaller and mid-range sizes a lot are still available so hey if you're feeling these sneakers and you want these go grab them now while you can because I'm pretty sure this event that we're seeing with sneakers sitting a lot isn't gonna play out forever maybe it will maybe it won't who knows it's unpredictable 
possible, but we've seen that change in the past and I'm pretty sure we may see that change again in the future. So grab them while you can. That's just my advice. However, guys, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe and share button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Also comment below and let me know if you guys went after the sneaker or not. It's not on your radar at all. Be cool on the colorway. It's a weird colorway to you. Or this was like your all time favorite seven is maybe a grail for some people and you were really feeling this sneaker and you didn't let the fact that they were sitting deter you from copying. Comment below guys. I would like to know all of that info, your thoughts and opinions on this. As you know, I'm always in the comments responding. However, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so as you can see here, we did secure the bag and Foot Locker. Big ups Foot Locker for the W on this one. I greatly appreciate it. Now I did secure multiple pairs of this sneaker. I did really want to double up on this, but right now the time just isn't right for me. Maybe I'll double back and pick up some more pairs of these down the line as I'm sure it might not be too, too hard initially as restocks and things of that nature will likely play out. However, guys, as you can see here, we do have the sneaker box, gray bottom, black lid, the traditional standard flimsy Air Jordan box that you can see my box is creased pretty bad. It is in bad shape. It is definitely damaged. Taking a look at the lid, we have our old school Air Jordan logo, white text with the red jump man. And again, a big crease, a big dent on the top of my lid. As I mentioned here, a nice crease going across here. Foot Locker, what's going on, man? Come on, man. How hard is it to take care of the sneaker boxes? We got people punting these across the 50 yard line, halfway across the mall. I mean, what's the deal? And it might not even be you guys. It could be the shipping company, but hey, man, a damaged box warrants a discount, in my opinion. That damaged box takes away from the value of the sneaker itself because the box is its home. However, on one side of the box, we do get our size sticker. In the size sticker reads Air Jordan 7 Retro. Colorway is black, citrus, varsity red. This is a men's US size 10, personal size for me in the Air Jordan. And no suggested retail price on the box. However, these did retail at 200 US dollars. Woo! 200 US dollars, man. These prices are starting to kill me, but hey, man, it is the norm, guys. Y'all get ready for all Air Jordan sneakers to be $200. Hey, even the one is scheduled to go up, to my knowledge. Maybe not completely to 200, but still, it's just getting up there. However, let's see what we have under the lid. All right, guys, flipping the lid up on this one, as you can see, we have our standard white underneath. I don't see a lot number or anything like that. Flipping the tissue paper up, we have our black trash bag like tissue paper. I actually like that paper a lot better than the other paper because I keep my paper neat just in case I do sell my shoes down the line. I want to give them to somebody in the best condition possible, including the packaging paper, all of that good stuff. And this one here, you don't have to worry about it crinkling up as much. It just kind of does its thing. It's real flimsy. However, let's go ahead and get the shoe out. Out. And there we have it guys, the Air Jordan 7 Citrus, a very, very clean sneaker. Glad to have this one in the collection. Let's go ahead and do a quick 360 on the shoe. All right, guys, so taking a look at this sneaker in hand, I'm digging it a lot. Now, I did notice on some of the images pre-release that it looked like it has sort of a brown tint to it. And compared to the original release back in 2006, that one looked a lot darker. So I heard some people kind of saying, hey, what's up with the tint? Why is it not jet black? And noticing it in hand, I have that same appearance as it isn't completely jet black. However, let's go ahead and go over it in depth here, starting with our outsole. As you can see, we do get a black outsole on this one. On our rubber piece, a little bit matte here, but then here on our midsole we do get a bit of a shine to this area looking at that in person is not nearly as shiny so yeah it's definitely matte on there but just in the lighting it does have a bit of a shine to it as well as here on our midsole on these mountain peak sort of things not sure what that's called guys just look like mountains to me as well as we have here in the rear these are more glossy as you can see we have those nice hints of varsity red and yellow very very clean just enough to give the sneaker some pop against the black outlook of the upper midsole and outsole However, about that upper, we do get that nice suede that I mentioned, guys. Now, it does look a little black here in the camera, but you can see that it does have that little slight tan or tint to it, where it's almost like an off nor black instead of a jet black. Now, as far as the suede here, very low hair suede, but it is very nice to the touch. Not going to cap a premium feel, guys. As you can see, I don't have a lot of blue stains or discrepancies on my pair. Now, when I was picking my pair up, the clerk did bring out three different boxes for me, as I did request that, because a couple pairs 
pairs of the shoes did have some issues on the toe cap where maybe it was rubbing up against the other shoe but it almost looked like the suede when you get it wet you go out in the rain you didn't protect your shoes and then it gets that hard sort of look that you kind of have to brush out yeah I was cool on that so I passed on those other couple of pairs even though the boxes were a little bit better they still had sort of a faded look on the top of the box and even the print quality on it is terrible sometimes so those two had bad print quality and the sneakers weren't as good so I passed on those pairs and I selected this one so guys that's another plus about these sneakers sitting back when they were selling out rapidly basically the pair that was in store scheduled or reserved for you was the only one you could get even trying to swap them out and exchange them some stores wouldn't do it oh no this one's for another person I've always kind of got around that but now it's a lot easier since sneakers are sitting and people are leaving pairs behind however on to the stitching on the upper as you can see we have that nice yellow stitching just going around every accent or every panel of the shoe very very clean love that a lot this is the only Air Jordan 7 that I know of personally that has a look like this which is why I wanted this sneaker now there may be some more out there that I'm unaware of I don't know every Air Jordan 7 in the book but typically on a sneaker like this they would have put in black stitching and it would have just been an all black upper almost like the Toronto pair but man that yellow stitching sets these off tremendously here on our upper ankle piece as you can see we do get an Air Jordan Jumpman in yellow as well very clean goes great with the rest of the stitching digging it a lot however guys other than that that pretty much wraps it up for the lateral side of the shoe moving along and on to the medial side of the shoe we get a very similar look as we got on the lateral side just minus that Jumpman logo now that yellow stitching and how it pops with the shoe so well hey a lot of people may not realize with these black laces it kind of dulls it out a little bit and not overpower the stitching which isn't a bad thing but if you want to bring even more pop to it this look right here was a lace swap a girl online shared and she said I was able to use her image so hey man here we have it a nice lace swap with some yellow laces very very clean to me it just brings out that yellow even more in the stitching now some people may look at this as overpowering but for me I think it's a good look now if Jordan brand would have went ahead and threw us some extra laces in there yellow and red I think that would have been dope why they didn't I'm not sure but hey guys if you do want to have that sort of a look just swap your laces out Jay the sneaker guy says it all the time big ups to Jay man as a matter of fact for doing all the lace swaps but hey man it is what it is swapping those laces out can make the shoe pop a lot more and I think if Nike would have done that originally and maybe even threw a different color in the shoe it might have helped them sell even more could be wrong but it's just my take on it however right, taking a look at the shoe from the top down as you can see we do have black just all over the upper like we saw on the lateral and medial sides with that yellow stitching we have our nice mesh like tongue that has almost sort of a satin feel to it with the breathable holes black standard laces in place all the way up to the top of the tongue here where we get a black tongue in that satin like feel with red air jordan old school text going across very clean just a standard sort of tongue not the bugs bunny kind of african like kind of patterns and shape things that we get on some of the other pairs you know that 90s vibe with the triangles and all the shapes and i'm not going to cap i'm digging that clean nice look a lot however as you can see from the back of the tongue here we do get some red on our cotton padding and when you hold the shoe straight up you can see it kind of peek over just a little bit not too much maybe even if i hold the shoe up straight you really can't see it there but just to know that it is slightly visible from behind the tongue on that front view but other than that guys that pretty much wraps it up moving along taking a look at the shoe from the back as you can see we do have that black on our midsole those yellow hints on the midsole and outsole as well we got our back tab in black and yellow with a red 23 as well as we get a red pull tab and i'll get a little closer so you can see that tab very nice love that gives me those og bugs bunny type of vibes as we do have that sort of triangular pattern like i mentioned very clean as well as a nice pop of red in the back with that pull tab digging in a lot and on to the interior of the shoe guys again we have that red cotton on the back of our tongue as well as we get here on our hirachi booty or insert whatever you want to call that and we get this white cardboard piece just keeping the structure of the shoe now i'm going to temporarily remove that for presentation purposes and as you can see inside of there guys it's hard to see but we do have a black insole with a red jump man we also get our side sticker in there and we get some tissue paper stuffed inside no cardboard shoe tree on this one and for those of you who care we do get our size tag on the back of the tongue however last but not least guys onto the outsole of the shoe all black on the outsole very nice going to be easy to keep this one clean but we do get a few hints of red in those random shapes as well as we get yellow and we also get one little white piece here as well as we get our red jump man on the back and more yellow very 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 clean love the outsole on the air jordan 7 we have a circular light traction on there just a clean outsole and og iconic outsole in general love it a lot very clean again easy to keep clean but you still may want to put your sole protectors 
on this one if you don't want those lighter colors to get dirty. However, guys, you just saw right here on all about the sneakers, the Air Jordan 7 Citrus, a very, very clean sneaker. So glad to have this one in the collection. Now, for those of you who are feeling the sneaker, you left it behind anyways for whatever reason. Don't sleep on it too long because people like this shoe. Whether the sneaker community displays it right now or not, people do like this shoe. As you saw, some of those mid-range sizes were starting to sell out on sneakers. It won't be long, guys, before you look up and it's gone. This shoe shoots up to a 250 and a 300, maybe even 350 way down the line, but it will get to that point at some day, I'm pretty sure. So don't look back and regret it. And that goes for a lot of these GR releases lately. Take advantage of it while you can, because this is something that we kind of ask for, guys. We're like, we can never get sneakers that we want. They sell out so fast. Resellers are controlling the market. Nike is controlling the market. But right now, the market is looking vulnerable for people who actually do want the sneakers. So I'm just going to encourage you guys, grab them while you can. I know the price is up there, but hey, man, until they start going on sale, that's going to be the retail price. So get it while you can get it. Take advantage of the market. Don't sleep. However, guys, once again, if you're new to the channel or if you're not, make sure you smash that like, subscribe, and share button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on future release videos. Now, when you get a chance to head over to IG and follow me at all about the sneaker spelled exactly the way it is here on the channel with the Z on the N instead of an S. I greatly appreciate it. I do want to thank you guys as always for tuning in and rocking with your boys. You know I rock with you guys 1000%. However, that's all I have for you guys today on this episode. Until the next episode, keep keeping it all about the sneakers. Once again, it is your boy, all about the sneakers, signing off. Until the next episode, I will catch you guys later. Salute. I'm out.